Assalamu alaikum, dear student. Hope all of you doing well. Today we are going to explore the economics of organization, the transaction cost approach, learning outcomes. After watching this video, you will be able to understand transaction cost, transaction cost theory, cost theorem, and property rights. Origin of transaction cost theory. Transaction cost economics built on the first world, specifically paper published in 1937, signature of the firm, by offering a more feasible theory and set of rules for studying organization. William Sun, William Sun theory treats transaction as the basic unit of analysis and claims that economizing on these costs drives organization, design of the governance structure. The theory assumes opportunism among actors and bounded rationality. What is transaction cost? Transaction costs are expenses incurred when buying or selling a good or service. Transaction costs represent the labor required to bring a good or service to market, giving rise to entire industries dedicated to facilitating the exchange. Transaction costs may include the legal fees, communication charges, the information cost of finding the price, or the labor required to bring a good or service to the market. For example, when buying a good or buying for an exchange, there will be some transaction cost in addition to the price of the good. In economics, the transaction cost in economics. What is the transaction cost in economics? In economics, it is the special meaning of the transaction cost. In economics and related disciplines, a transaction cost is a cost incurred in making an economic exchange. Search and information costs are costs such as those incurred in determining, determining that the required good is available on the market, who has the lowest price, etc. Who created the transaction cost theory? The term transaction cost is frequently thought to have been coined by the Roman cause, who used it to develop a theoretical framework for predicting when certain economic tasks would be performed by firms and when they would be performed on the market. A transaction cost as defined by Williamson. A transaction cost as defined by Williamson. Transaction cost occur when a good or service is transferred across technologically sparable interface. Williamson argues that the critical dimension for describing transaction are number one uncertainty, number two, frequency, and number three, the degree to which the transaction cost, specific investment are required to realize last cost supply, that is asset specificity. Here I explain the asset specificity. Williamson argues that asset specificity is the most important dimension, that is in part because actors are assumed to be opportunist and a transaction regarding a specific asset puts people in both sides in vulnerable position. In case of one supplier, for example, a buyer can be forced 
to pay a higher price and if there is only one seller. The opposite situation is an play. In Williamson terms, under the higher asset specificity, buyer and sellers are effectively operating in a bilateral exchange relation for a considerable period thereafter. In general, Williamson claims that higher specificity will drive the transaction cost up. Organizational boundaries. Speaking specifically to the question of the organizational boundaries, a key issue in organization theory. See Santos and Asen Herdert, 2005 paper. Williamson's key argument is that we can view a firm based on a series of what to include inside a firm and what to keep outside. Essentially, firms are attempting to design efficient boundaries in the world where there is a firm market dichotomy. Firm allows hierarchy to involve fiat, to involve resolve differences to provide the better access to information. Similarly, increased uncertainty may drive the firm to internalize resources and work upon which is dependent. Williamson argues that his model also applies to human assets. For example, if a company is investing in the firm's specific skills, it won't want to lose the employees with those skills. It might therefore choose to focus on internal labor market. Now I explained the cost theorem. What is the cost theorem? Cost theorem is a legal and economic theory developed by the economist Ronald Cost that affirms that where there are complete competitive markets with no transaction cost, an efficient set of inputs and outputs to and from production optimal distribution will be selected, regardless of how property rights are divided. Further, the cost theorem asserts that if conflict arises over the property rights under these assumptions, then the parties will tend to settle on the efficient set of inputs and outputs. So what are the property rights? The property rights defines the theoretical and legal ownership of resources and how they can be used. These resources can be both tangible or intangible and can be owned by the individual businesses and governments. In many countries, including United States, individuals generally exercise private property rights or the rights of the private persons to accumulate, hold, delegate, rent or sell their properties. In economics, property rights form the basis of all market exchange and the allocation of the property rights in a society affects the efficiency of resource use or resource allocation. Understanding the cost theorem. The cost theorem states that under ideal economic conditions where there is a conflict of property rights, the involved parties can begin or negotiate terms that will be accurately reflect the full cost and underlying values of the property rights at issue. In order for this to occur, the condition conventionally assumed in analysis of efficient. Competitive market must be in place, particularly the absence of transaction cost. Information must be free, perfect and symmetrical. Bargaining must be costless. 
if there are costs associated with the bargaining, such as those relating to meetings or enforcement, it affects the outcome. Neither party can be possess market power relative to others. Bargaining power between the parties must be equal enough that is that it can not influence the outcome of the settlement. Markets for the final goods and productive factors economically related to the property at issue must be efficient so that the market prices of the property in question can be accurately ascertained. The cost theorem shows that where the property rights are concerned, involved parties do not necessarily consider how the property rights are divided up. If these conditions apply and they care only about the division of the follow of current and future incomes and rents without regard issues such as the personal sentiment, social equity or other non-economic factors. Uh, here the assignment number four, write the summary of the paper title, The Nature of the Firm by R. H. Koss. Uh, I also provide the downloading link of this paper. Uh, you also write the short biographies of the economist Oliver Eaton Williamson. The, uh, in, uh, he proposed the transaction cost theory and the Ronald Harry cost along with their contribution in economics. Brian uh, Mayer, Tamam assignment, easy class pay, timely summit kare or assignment likhte way original paper ko pad kar apne words me small sentences me likhe copy paste ke koi number nahi hai main isko software jo hai usme se check kar raha hu aur jinki timely assignment nahi aayengi unke bhi marks nahi hai main tamam assignments ko turnitin se guzar raha hu copy paste ke aur original contents ke marks hai copy paste ke aur plagiarism ke nahi hai thank you for your patience